to make something kind of short and stress-free in testing out this new system. So what I'm going to do is mix some paint. Um, I'm going to start with white because I know that's what I'll need the most of and I've decided for now, since it's what I have, I'm going to use uh, two different size mason jars to, um, to mix the paints. I've got several of these, in fact I've got a dozen of the smaller ones and I've got three of the larger ones so um, maybe I can do a black, a white and then use one for maybe random uh, other colors. I don't know yet. But anyway, so just kind of thinking down the road and then I can put a label on them to remind me what they are and um, so yeah, so we're going to do that. Um, my other thing I'm looking at is what to put to cover. I'm only mixing paints today. It is, even though I'm very excited to get started, it is not my intention to just um, dive right into it today and do my first pour. Um, I want to leap ahead, but I actually really want to document these steps and my thought process for choosing the path that I take. So um, at some point I'm, I'm going to want to save the skins. So my, my thought is first to just use the paper. It's kind of got a shiny side and a smooth side. I don't know, I may, if I spill or have an accident, I may get some good skins off that, but I really don't know if it peels. I haven't looked into it. I know I will with plastic, but I kind of want to save this for when I'm really trying to catch the skins. So I'm going to go with the paper today and just see how it goes. Put those away. Alright, so I really don't think I need too much. I hope. And I'm going to put this side up. This is the shiny side and also it'll kind of hold it down from being rolled up. Okay, so get some paints out here. So there's the white. Um, it is a white satin acrylic. Um, I also have A mat. Um, these I got my first shopping trip to um, Walmart to get just the base supplies. I didn't quite have everything but I had most um, and I picked up some of those for really inexpensive. I think they were like 99 cents or something. This is part of a set that was sent to me by um, the wonderful Angie at Immortel Designs. Um, shout out sister. Anyway. So I've got that paint. I've decided on my paint. Next thing is I'm going to start out using Floetrol. I've done a lot of reading about using different things, glue and water, whatnot, but I'm going to start here. Um, I figured it was the simplest place to start. I can experiment after I get a little more proficient in the basics. This came as a part of that set that my sweet friend Angie sent me, and I am so appreciated. I think I'm going to need a tall stir stick. And... So, debate. I can mix this in a cup, and it would probably be better. I'm thinking about the lid of this jar. So, I'm thinking it better it might be better to... Okay, it's a wide mouth jar. It's totally clean inside. There's nothing else in it that hadn't been used for anything but dry things. Um, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Put the top over there. Okay, let's just dive in. So, one to one. I'm gonna figure out how. Let's see, this is ounces. So, maybe for that size jar. This is two fluid ounces, so I can use this entire jar and then use the uh, two ounces of the Floetrol. So I think I'm going to do that. I may even go ahead and pour the paint in here and then measure the Floetrol with this, perhaps. That way maybe I get some more of that white paint out and maybe preserve it. We shall see. So I'm not going to use the measure cup. Just winging it. And I know there are a few people who would say, oh my gosh, no, measure, measure. But I just, 
just want to play with it a bit. I'm trying to get this thing open. shake or not to shake? I don't know. So I'm kind of looking at it to see what the thickness is now, how the drops are landing in there and everything, just to kind of get an idea of how thick it's starting out. Um, I'm guessing that will be important. Yeah, it's definitely piling up on itself. Up and down. Okay, let's see. I don't really want to scrape with the thing yet because and I figure I'll lose whatever I gain. Um, so, in using this and reading about it and, and what to you do and whatnot, um, I want to get um, go to the dollar store or something, get a cheap pair of stockings and put a rubber band around this to um, strain this before I use it. Um, but. I don't have that right now. This is my first pour out of this bottle. I'm just going to hope I don't get those issues, but if I do, I know where they came from. Alright, so. And again, I am going to. Oh, I'm surprised it doesn't have an inner. to the wish me luck to the same coming up to the top there I'm not going to go all the way to the top because I don't think the paint did but I'll give you an idea it was pretty full but what we lose in paint and flow troll um, it should be just about right okay so this does fit down in here and then this time I will go ahead and scrape it because I'm just going to end up putting this stick down in the mason jar anyway. I want to get all of that goodness out of there. And I'm not going to add the water yet to this. Um, I want to start out with, you know, the stuff that I keep stored. I want it to start out just as a starting point so that I can experiment in the smaller containers if I want to with um, other ways. Actually, go ahead and save this to use for the water too. I don't know. What do you think? Water? No water? Save it? Don't save it? Definitely gonna turn it upside down. Maybe before, the, by the time I'm done with the video, there'll be some stored up in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna play with it. Kind of pick it up, and I can see the swirl between the white paint. And the kind of opaque white, I think that's the right term for it, uh, Floetrol. I don't know if you can see that in there. It still kind of lands on itself and piles up a little bit. Not much, but some. Um, oh, this is so cool. I don't know why. A little mixology. But it's going to be fun to play with the colors and, you know, make my own. Yeah, I definitely like this. The, um, I get a good scrape on the bottom of this jar with the, um, 
tongue depressor, popsicle stick, whatever you want to call it, a piece of wood that I'm stirring with. Um, Experiment and play. And study. Alright. So I think I'm going to call that for now good and mixed. At some point, I think I want to try four ounce um, squeeze bottles. But since this is all I have for now, I'm not going to order anything new. Just trying to work with what I've got. Um, this will do in a pinch, I hope. <laughs> if not, I'll tell you. You won't have to do it. Okay. Alright, so... I'm definitely going to want to know what this is, so I'm going to use some blue painter's tape. And I will use at some point uh, down the road to cover canvases maybe. Or just hold stuff down or make patterns. Whatever. Um, anyway, I'm just going to use this to make a little label. It won't take much. I just need to know that it's apple barrel paints. That it is um a matte acrylic so it's not the satin and that's all I need to know for now oh that's too big but that's okay there we go all right so since I wanted this to be really short because